Hello, Kev Edwards from Rally here. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at page notes, uh, how to edit, just do sort of small edits. Uh, say you've got a championship coming up and you want to perfect your page notes a little bit, but you're not sure how to do a full sort of delete and do them from scratch. If you do want to do that, uh, I'm going to link Jan Lanahan's video uh, in the descriptions. He's got a sort of start to finish tutorial on how to completely delete them, go through a stage and insert the notes yourself. This isn't going to be that, this is just a quick, very, very basic beginner, just how to change certain notes um, just for some minor adjustments. There's a few different ways you can do it. You can, uh, so let me start this, you can... Three. Two, let me wait for that. One, go. Uh, you can you can run the stage and then go on to replay mode and then you can sort of you can go through your replay, pause it at a certain corner, add your notes. I know some people do it that way. Um, but you can actually edit notes in the in the replay mode and it'll still register. Another way is you can you know, you might fly through a stage a couple of times, maybe there's a point where you keep on crashing, you just want to edit a note that way. Um, or you can you can go through slowly and sort of, that's how I tend to do it, I'll drive through the stage slow. I might do a couple of quick runs to see if anything stands out. And then I'll sort of just have a slow run through um, and just change it as a go and then drive the stage a couple of times and adjust them uh, as needs be. But um, what you need to do is first double left click on your mouse button and that'll bring up the the page notes um, that's all your notes for the stage all the way up so uh, as you can see on this stage there's quite a lot of notes um, I won't e empty calls are what you put for a distance call for some reason you've got to put empty call and then you get to your corner and then you put a distance call in and that'll give you your 100, 60, 30, whatever it is. But if you want more info on that, you need to watch Jan's video. Uh, so this is like basics. Um, another thing as well, your the pace note driver that you're using, if you've installed a, a random pace note mod, might not necessarily play nice with the pace note plugin. There's only certain pace note mods that do. Jan, Jan Lanahan's being one of them. Uh, Fabs, I think, has got a few. Uh, I think he's just released one actually that I'll have to try out. I'm, I'm pretty sure that works well with uh, the Pace Note mod. You've got the type uh, like Leser. If any of you have got Leser's mods, Leser's sound really good. They're really off, like authentic. It's ripped from um, from actual code drivers. But when you start changing stuff uh, and changing your own pace note, it doesn't necessarily work as intended. So you, some notes might not get called, uh, some might be missing, some don't correspond. Um, so you've got to be careful. Uh, this is why I just tend to stick with Jans because I know Jans is built for this. Um, and he is doing another one as well, uh, a version 3, uh, which will have a lot more notes in. So just, uh, for instance, what you've got extra. Uh, so all these, you've got all like your basics, and he has got descriptive, and he's got finish as well. Uh, and he's got it, so it's left 2 instead of 2 left. So there's, there's, a different, there's a few different variations of what, you, uh, of what notes that you can sort of pick from um, but there's a lot of like extra options that aren't available uh, in the default notes so you can you've got a lot more you've got a lot more options to play with so you can say for in, if you're using default notes off default stage the chances are they're using the, the default code driver pack so the they won't have like certain notes available to them. Um, a good example of that would be chicanes. So a lot of the times, 
on your pace on your pace notes if you're using the default you might not get you know a right entry into a chicane it'll just call it as like it could be a free left free right free left which would be a chicane which when you're coming up like 100 miles an hour that and you just hear free left free right you're not going to realize it's a chicane and you're not going to sort of plan accordingly for it whereas jans has got that note in so you can add that note um as a chicane um there's all extra sort of cautions dips bumps water rails bridge hole uh care in care out you know there's a lot of surface changes so if you're going on to go concrete or gravel or tarmac so th there is a lot of different um a lot of extras you can add so you can define your notes a lot more um so when i'm doing my notes one of the one of the big things i think that helps me is the additionals on top uh so whenever it's a short corner a long corner um uh round type corner so if it's like if you have a free right for instance could be could pretty much be uh, a right angle like a junction or it could be round where it sort of goes round like that could be a short one it could be sharp uh, could be long where it carries on so for, for that one corner for that one free right corner there's multiple different ways you would attack it depending on the length um, and the shape of it so that's why i tend to that's what i tend to look out for mainly you've also got uh whenever it sort of opens up or tightens or it's you know it's narrow on the entry or it's wide on the entry uh double tightens if it if it's like a three or like a, a, say a six and it double tightens so how I tend to take a Titans is if I'm on a four right Titans, I take that as it tightens to a, a number below. It's not necessarily the case that every 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 person doing pace notes will do it different and have their own sort of interpret interpretation of the notes. That's why they're so sort of uh, subjective um, and. It, each each pace note each set of notes on a different stage will will or can feel different <coughs> because they're done by different people with a different sort of interpretation that's why it's so important on rbr to get get into doing your own notes for their rally for instance you're doing the same stages over and over and over again it's not that important because you you're going past the same corners the same junctions Whereas in RBR, there's hundreds of different stages. It could be six months before you go back on a stage that you've tried. Um, so, I did it. Did a lot. It did a lot more part, important and a lot more part of the experience than you are with other rally games. Um, so let's sort of I'm gonna move these out the way a little bit. You won't be able to see them, but they're sort of still on my screen. One hundred. Okay, so. So I, I I would just drive through slow. We've got that hundred first. Four left, sixty. Four left, sixty. So that to me is quite short. That's not just a four left. That's a that's a a, a short four left. So all I would do then is I would click on the note here. So it's this one, this four left. When I click on that, and I want to add something, it's it's at this location. So I've clicked on that. I want to add a short onto it. So I just click add, which will just bring it one point past that current note. And I would add an additional um, short. Click on the short, apply. And then I've got it there then, four left, short. Um, with, with the modifier, it's worth pointing this out as well. If you click 
Uh, say I clicked, say I wanted to do a dunk cut with the modifier, that is all part of that. You can add that as part of that original note. Um, so I could do like uh, four left cut, for instance. Um, I might even put a cut there actually, because you probably could cut. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that actually. So, uh, right, let's click that four left. You've got to be careful as well, because when you first click on it, sometimes it'll default to hairpin left. So make sure you don't. I've done that before where I've, I've been turning notes into hairpins by mistake. Uh, so, modify it, and then apply. So I've got my four left. And then on my modifier, I've got cut. Um, so any of these notes in modifier will be one note. Um, yeah, so I've fucked that up somehow. Uh, I should have just clicked on that. So I'm going to delete that one. Uh, delete that. So I've got my four left cut there with the modifier. So if, if I clicked four left early, for instance, it that doesn't work as that one sort of note. Only the modifier is included in the corner if you choose to pick one. Um, so I've got that, that there now anyway. So four left cut short. Three right, 30. So three right, let's just move this a little bit. Three right, I don't want to cut that, but it is still still quite short. So three right. Uh, so click on my three right there, and then I'm gonna add, and then I'm gonna click additional, and I'm gonna click short, and apply. So again, my three right, that short appears after the three right there. Four right, 40. So, this is, that's a four right, I could say there's a bit of a finger on there, so like a bit of a, a gutter, I don't want to cut it, but I want to stay on the inside of it and use that, uh, use that camber a little bit, so I'm going to add an inside there, so I'm going to again click on the note that I want to add to, which is the four right click on additional again inside apply and do it that right okay let's just uh, let's just see how that works now okay yeah, I'm not gonna wait for the countdown 100. Go. got 100 Four left, cut, short, 60, left, three cut, right, short. short, 120. Three right, short. Inside, 40. Four Inside. left, 50. Okay, so that's just a few examples there. Uh, I might actually, I'll probably get rid of that cut because there was actually a tree there that I didn't see on the first time through. Uh, I'm going to look for somewhere else. Okay, so I've just got to a section here where... There's some bumps in the road. There's like ruts here. Uh, and there's no note for it. So if I want to add a note at a new location. Um, okay, so I can click on anywhere on here. It doesn't really matter. Obviously, you're best doing it where you are. Uh, I want to add a note to where I am now. So if you look at the location there. When I've clicked on that note. Say I'll click here for instance. 2469, 2469. So if I put a note in, that's where it's going to put it in, which is nowhere near this green line. This green line is where I am, and I've clicked over here, which is like further ahead in the stage. So to put the note where I am now, where I'm parked, if I click location, and then you can see it's gone 1643. 1643 is where I am. Uh, and I want to add either bumps or ruts. Uh, let's see, what have I got? I probably put ruts in because it's it's more rut, ruts than like a single bump. 
so I'll click root there then apply and yeah I just wanted to make sure because that had changed back to where that note was but the root note has gone in down here um, so I'm happy with that now so if I back up a little bit Ruts, five right, 40. Yeah. Okay, so now I've got that ruts and then into the five right. Um, so you can do that anywhere. So you can put, say you want, uh, you get a position. Oh, the question, two, six left, times four, 40. Say this is an area where you, you're, you're crashing all the time uh, and you want to put like, a core. What you'll find is there's a lot of caution notices, and that is, I think, because the original co-driver only really had caution. There wasn't any. Whereas Jan's got like deceptive and brake and slippy and all that. None of that was available. If you're using Jan's mods, you've got more, so you can you can decipher certain dangers a little bit better. Um, so, say there's an area where you want to break, you get there's a crest, you know, there's a corner on the other the other side that you keep crashing, put a break in, or put a danger in if that's going to help, or if there's a tree on the outside of a corner, you can do care out. If there's a tree on the inside of a corner, you can put care in. So there's a lot you can do. Um, so, yeah, just that, that's just a quick one, just just to get you started with it. Um, just to change it even if you you get to a six and you think actually that's a bit tight that i want to i want to change that to a five you just click on the six and then check you just click five and then apply that's all you've got to do um yeah so again to do it in depth you really need to watch jan's video uh but this is just the basic just to get you going if you just sort of want to dip your toe in with it just one more quick note on the, the no link option um, or the link option so all that basically does if you have uh, two notes that are really close together say you've say you've got a, a six four and then a six right straight afterwards if you have that unclicked it will automatically put either into or a and note um, I think it is depending on the distance but it's I think it's within like 30 it might be into and within 50 and I'm not I'm not 100% sure what the dis distances are but I find you best doing that yourself so most people will just have a have that link there's no link so it's not automatically putting notes in that you're not asking for um, yeah so that's just a that's just a little explanation on what that does as well in my opinion best just you can experiment with it and see if it works best for you but in my opinion uh, just click no link when you're doing the notes um, just because sometimes you can add, you might put an into note and if you don't click that it'll go into into or into and you know it it, it, it can complicate things so yeah just a, a note on that click that as a no link um, so you're not getting extra notes in automatically that you're not asking for yeah so again to do it in depth you really need to watch Jan's video uh, but this is just the basic just to get you going if you just sort of wanting to dip your toe in with it but yeah there you go uh, don't forget like subscribe uh, and I'll see you on the next video